Hello, my name's Tom Cockrell and I'm here to introduce to you the new Schumacher KF Buggy. It's a new two-wheel drive buggy and the F stands for forward motor. As you can see, the motor now sits towards the front of the car, unlike the conventional mid-motor cars. Uh, we've, we've developed this car mainly for the carpet scene, but also it works on any high traction track really. Um, obviously the major difference to our other range of two-wheel drive cars, the KR and the SV2, is that it's a belt-driven two-wheel drive car, there's no direct gearbox, and the motor being towards the front of the car gives it excellent weight distribution when the grip is really high. Saddle pack layout of the rear, there is an option to run a shorty pack also. Motors towards the front, hence the name KF, and then the conventional two-wheel drive front end that you're all used to seeing. The rear end is very similar to the K1, our four-wheel drive buggy. It will feature a gear differ standard. This is suitable for the high traction tracks that the car will be used on. One of the completely new features of this buggy is the shock tower protectors. These not only protect the car, the track you're racing on, but also offer an aerodynamic benefit to the car, which sits in well with our new airflow body shell and high downforce rear wing. As the name implies, the motor in this car is towards the front of the buggy, with a belt drive to the rear wheels. Before the belt drive reaches the rear wheels, it goes through this pair of side gears. This offers two benefits. The main benefit is the motor now rotates in the same direction as the wheels, which is now an essential for a mid-motor buggy. The second benefit is it allows you to adjust the internal ratio. This can adjust the inertia that the drivetrain has and greatly affect the handling of the vehicle. As with the other range of our competition off-road cars, this features big bore shocks and springs front and rear with machined pistons. This buggy also features 12mm hexes front and rear for the wheel fitment, which allows you to fit our wheels onto other manufacturers' cars and vice versa. Another cool feature of our new buggy is that the aerial is now grub screw mounted into the side pod. This means you don't need an extra aerial mount and you'll never lose your aerial tube. As you can see on this buggy, we're now using a carbon fibre chassis. In testing and development, we found this to be much better on the high grip tracks, lighter weight being more suitable to the vehicle. 